Hi everyone. Many of you asked me to remake Cedar Woods bed and so I have done that. I wanted to create something that represents the fact that she's made of wood so I wanted the bed to be a log bed and very much a wood theme. So let me just uh, show you guys as a reminder what her previous bed looked like. At the time I made it I did like it but now it strikes me and my daughter as being a little plain. I actually to make the bed used my daughter's Lincoln logs. Mommy I'm really mad that you using my Lincoln logs. Yeah, see, she never plays with these, and yet she's mad that I'm using them. So I just took her Lincoln logs and I hot glued them together to create a headboard and also a footboard. I love it. But I thought you were mad. Well, I don't like that, but I love how you made it. Oh, okay, thank you, honey. For the bed part itself, I used a smooth foam block from Michaels. Every time. I know. And then I hot glued this piece of fabric that looks like wood over the smooth foam block. And that's what I ended up with. You don't have to hot glue it over the bottom because no one sees the bottom of the bed. And then I took these wooden artistic moldings, that's actually what they're called, and I painted them a tan color. And then I hot glued these to the bottom of the bed so that it would look like her bed was on a wooden platform. And then I found this wonderful fabric that looks like wood grain. And it was on sale at Joann Fabrics because it was a remnant that no one had bought. And then I found this champagne ribbon from Paper Source. It reminds me of Cedar Woods stocks, stocks, socks. Socks. <laughs> yeah, mommy can't talk. And this uh, piece of fabric that looks like a wood, of a, the bark of a tree. And then these embellishment roses. And these Martha Stewart stickers of golden leaves. I love them. And then this lavender thin ribbon. And so first I hot glued the bark fabric on top of the wood grain fabric and also three of the golden leaves stickers on the top part of the blanket. Then I added one of the orange roses. Well, so coral. Because she's wearing coral and uh. lavender. And um, then I've just trimmed the blanket with another gold ribbon all around and then so added beautiful. two strips of champagne ribbon. And then to make something that's reminiscent of her socks, her champagne socks with the blue, or I'm sorry, with the lavender tassels hanging off of them. I hot glued the lavender ribbon. And then look at these cool leaves that mommy got. They're so beautiful. I it's just, like a pattern. I just attached those to the bottom of each of the lavender ribbons. And there's her blanket. So shiny and pretty. And then this is her pillow. I took a rectangle of lavender fabric and a square of the wood grain, added a golden leaf sticker and trimmed it with thin gold ribbon, trimmed the top and bottom with the thin gold ribbon, and voila, there's her pillow. So beautiful, like you made the blanket. I'm glad you like it, honey. And then I wanted to add an additional piece to her headboard, which is this tree here. It's a wood pile, small tree plaque for just under $6. Ma, you might have painted a lot on the back, I on know. the side. I know. Well, you helped me paint this, so thank you. <laughs> and I attached some green leaves to it to look like they were falling off the tree and landing on her bed. And now it's time to just put the finishing touches on. Let's put the pillow and the blanket on her bed. And we're done. And that looks nice. Thank you. Let's see how Cedar likes it. Oh wait, let's hang Cedar's purse up. Now let's see how Cedar likes it. Hello, Cedar. I think the bed suits her. What do you think, honey? Wonderfully suits her. You like it? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, well now it is time to do some shout outs to some YouTube subscribers. First, let's do a shout out to Kamaria Jones 
and then next to the Charming and Beauty show. Shout out to you guys! Thanks for watching my videos. Let me know what you guys think of the new cedar wood doll bed in the comments, and thanks for watching! Goodbye!